What's up, 21 day ab shredders? All right, so this is day two. Now, yesterday, we destroyed our abdominals. So I know you're probably feeling a little tender in the abs. Um, you're starting to get used to the nutrition plan that you're on. I know it's pretty basic, but honestly, the most basic meal plans are the meal plans that are gonna get you the best results. So hang in there with me for the next several days. I guess we've got 19 days after this one. So for day two, we're gonna be doing hit cardio. That way we can get the cardio exercises in to help burn the fat off of our abs. You combine that with a good nutrition plan like you're on, hopefully you're following the one that I recommend and that I wrote specifically for the 21 days and specifically following the day two meal plan, okay? Um, it is very strategic in the way I wrote it, so follow it in order, okay? Now, we're gonna get started with this one. So not to confuse you, we're gonna be doing the exact same timing style that we did yesterday. So what is that? That is 30 seconds per exercise. We'll be doing circuit one and we'll do three rounds on that. Then we're gonna do circuit two, three rounds on that one, and then circuit three. By day three, day four, and so on, you'll be pretty familiar with how the structure of the workouts go. So it won't be confusing at all. So with this one today, I want you to pace yourself, go as fast as you can or as slow as you can, Follow the print-off form that you have in front of yourself. I have the same print-off form in front of me. Um, and do the exercises along with me. All right, you ready to get this thing started? Let's do this thing. So we're gonna do our two minute warm up, and we're gonna do this one a little bit different than our ab series. So we're gonna start with a light squat. I want you to go down. You're gonna put just a little bit of a squat hold in the bottom, just to kind of loosen up your legs there. Good. And from this, we're gonna take it into a reverse lunge. So you're gonna step backwards, hold it, and then back forward. Step backwards, hold it, and forward. So we're gonna do about four reps on each side, then we're gonna do a forward lunge. Then we're gonna get into a little bit of cardio on it, okay? That way we can get the abs, or not the abs, that way we can get the heart rate up, okay? So get your balance on this. Good, and forward again. Now you probably notice I'm wearing a beanie. That is because I want to get my maximum heat rising in my body. I want to really break a sweat with this one. So anytime that we do the HIIT cardio workouts, I will probably have a beanie on. And it's not necessarily because it's cold out here where I'm working, even though that is sometimes the case, but today it's not. It's because I want to get my body temperature up. I want to sweat as much as I can, so that way I get maximum results during this 21 days as well. So, you can do the same thing. Now, I don't recommend you wear a sweatsuit or anything like that, that's not really safe, but if you're drinking a lot of water, you keep it hydrated, you're eating properly, getting proper rest, then something like a beanie or a sweatshirt or a hoodie, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? You'll notice that I actually started a lot of my workouts wearing sweatpants, and that is the same thing that I'm doing with that. All right, let's keep it up, unless it's just freeze, freezing cold out here where I'm working, okay? All right, 10 seconds left, so we're just gonna finish it with the high knees. So get them up. It's more of a low jog, to be totally honest with you. And, okay, we got our beeps going, that's a good thing. All right, get your yoga mat where it needs to be. I'm pulling it away from the wall a little bit. So here's how our first circuit's gonna work. I'll go over it with you while we're standing here waiting. We're gonna start with sprints. Now, I've only got about an eight foot area to do it in, so my sprints are gonna be more of a slow, slower sprint. However much room you have, sprint it out, okay? You can use a hallway for this. Um, if you're in a small, too small of a room, like even a bathroom, then just do high knees instead, okay? Then we're gonna do jumping jacks. Then we're gonna do side shuffles. Same rule applies, go whatever distance you have. And then we're gonna do push-ups. Then we'll rest for 30 seconds. We'll do a second round and a third round. We're gonna be starting in about 10 seconds, so get ready for this. So I'm gonna get started right back over here. I'll try to stay in the frame or the shot of the camera, but no promises. And here we go. All right, so back and forth. See how many you can do. Like I said, I've only got about eight foot. I'm actually in my garage. 
So this is where I prefer to work out a lot of days. So it's not always the best place to do running exercises like this, but it makes it intense because you still gotta run fast, but you also have to force yourself to slow down, which takes almost as much energy. Okay, so we've got jacks straight into them, especially since the transition, there isn't a lot of time. But what I like about doing three circuits, or three rounds, not three circuits, three rounds of any given circuit is the first round, it's kind of your learning round, okay? So we may mess up the first round, but by round two and three, we'll have it down pat. All right, keep it up. We got side shuffles in three, two, one. So this one, you're gonna stay low, and you're gonna shuffle back and forth. So low, back and forth with the shuffle. Very good. Okay, that's it. Stay low, going back, going back to starting place. We got 15 seconds left from this one. We've got one more exercise, which is push-ups. Then we'll be resting. All right, I almost lost my light. Okay, good, keep it up. And now, going into push-ups. So here we go. You can do them straight body. You can do them on your knees. They don't have to be super fast. So don't worry about trying to go crazy, crazy fast. Not on day two, at least. Maybe when we get to day three, and day four, and day five and six, but not on day two. We got about 10 seconds left. Let's keep moving. That's it, almost there. Three, two, one. Okay, we got 30 seconds. I want you to get some water. I'm gonna fix the light that I almost knocked over. Whew. Okay. I actually have like a small corner light over here that I had sitting up on an ice chest, which I used with some of my workouts. And literally, I tapped it and I had it balancing, almost busted it. And those light bulbs are a pain in the butt to get. You gotta buy them through Amazon. All right, here we go. Sprints in two, one, back into it. So back and forth, back and forth. There you go. Give it your best. I'm gonna see how many times I can go down and back. This is four, this is five. You got six, seven, good, eight, nine. How many you got? Come on, ten, almost there, eleven, twelve, ah, and jumping jacks. So I got twelve and a half. I'm gonna see if I can get fourteen on our last round. We'll see what happens, but that's gonna be my goal. So I'm definitely gonna have to pick up my pace. All right, keep moving. From this one, we're gonna be going into side shuffles. Okay, 12 seconds left. Keep the jumping jacks going. Feet wide, big movements on this one. Here we go, four seconds. I'm getting over to the side for side shuffles. Here we go, stay low. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Try to keep your hands up, just like when you probably played basketball back in the day. When you're doing those drills, Keeping those hands up, not letting them drop down. There we go. 15 seconds and we got push ups. Perfect. Then we got one more round. So we're almost there. That's it. You can do it. Come on, we got this. Looking good. Keep moving. And push ups, here we go. All right. So down, right back up. This time, if you want to pick the pace up a little bit, go for it. I'm gonna to try to speed up just a little bit, not a ton. I'll save that for my very last round on this circuit. There we go. Do them on your knees if you need to. You can also modify and do it against a wall or a table. There we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we got 30 seconds to rest. I am gonna get something to drink. My preferred drink is tea. If you ever watch my YouTube channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's all I drink when I'm working out. I always have, at least for five years now, I've drank a tea. It's actually a specific blend of tea, but I love it. All right, sprint. Two, one, here we go. Okay, one, two, I'm gonna get 14. That's my goal, three, four. See how many you can get. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, push yourself. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just barely. Probably can't even count it, but I'm going to. That's my rep. I'm counting. Okay. Jumping jacks. If you push hard on the sprint, you're going to feel these jumping jacks. Big time. Your quads will be exhausted. Mine are. For sure. All right, seven seconds. Let's keep it up. We're almost there. Keep moving on this one. Hands side shuffles. Here we go. Cool thing is, we get a minute to rest next. So, we gotta get through these, and then our push-ups. Then, we get to rest. All right, let's keep moving. Down and back. Again, keep your knees bent, stay as low as you can. See how many you can get, down and back. Push yourself, four seconds. And, push-ups, here we go. Now finish this one out strong. At least as strong as you got. What you got left here. We'll be mixing it up with some new exercises next. Here we go. Don't feel bad if you gotta go down to your knees or modify. Good, come on. Keep pushing. That's it. Almost there. Three seconds. Two, one. All right. We've got one minute. So, I'm gonna blow off a little crunchy part off my yoga mat. That's the bad thing about wearing shoes on a yoga mat. It grinds the foam up and then it gets on your face and everywhere else. But besides that, circuit number two, set number two, we're gonna do lunges, then we're gonna do high knees, then we're doing a squat thrust, then we're doing something called a hurricane. And the hurricane is a four rep count but it's basically four jumping jacks, four butt kicks, four jumping jacks, four high knees. It's a great cardio exercise. I love it. I've called it tornadoes in the past. I've called it hurricanes, um, whatever you want to call it. If it spins and tears things up, call it that. I guess we can call it the Tasmanian Devil. Whew, I used to love that cartoon. Okay, lunges, here we go. So lunge forward. Don't speed through on this one. I don't want you getting injured, okay? Nice and low. If you want to grab some dumbbells, feel free. I'm not going to. We can definitely do that as we get farther into the circuit here, the series, you know, because we will have five or six of these hit cardio workouts, okay? So you're gonna get stronger. This first one may just absolutely feel like you're getting beaten down, but that's okay. All right, high knees. So, this one, dang two, I want you to get your knees in line with your hips. So you don't have to sprint it out or anything like that, but it's kind of a job, but pull those knees up. As long as you're getting your knees up, you can get quite a bit out of this. Okay, we've got squat thrust coming up next. We've got a few seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, sit down on all four. Kick your feet out, bring them back in. Out, bring them back in. This one's easy to modify as well by doing it on something that is elevated, like say a table or a chair or something like that. And there we go, good. So kick them out, bring them back in. 10 seconds. We've got our hurricane slash tornado coming up next. Three seconds. Two, one. Okay, so now. One, two, three, four, turn. Let's do butt kicks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. High knees. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, oh, butt kicks. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. High knees. One, two, three, four. Jump jacks. One, Okay, relax, 30 seconds. So like I said, the first round of every circuit, that's gonna be the sloppiest round. That's when we're just getting a feel for everything. 
Second round, let's make it a little bit cleaner. Get those reps the way we need to. Pick up our speed. We're going to be starting with lunges. Whew. So use this time to catch your breath. We got eight seconds till we start. Doing perfect. Five seconds. In three, two, one. Here we go. So down, right back to center. Down, right back to center. Lunges, lunges, lunges all day. That's what's up. Good. We got it. Keep it up. 18 seconds. Almost there. Here we go. We got 14 seconds left. You can do it. I know you can. 10 seconds and counting. All right. We got this. Eight seconds. Okay, come on. From this, we got high knees and straight into high knees. All right, get them up. Good. So remember, knees, get them up about hip level. You can get them up to your belly button if you want, but bringing them up, that's the important part on this. Because as you bring those knees up, not only is it doing cardio, it's also working the lower abs. Okay, so you get a two for one special here. All right, we got squat thrust coming up in seven seconds. Three seconds, dropping it down in two, one. Here we go, so feet out, back in, out, back in. Good, come on, you can do this. Let's work with it, work with it, work with it. Feet out, feet in, feet out, feet in. Back and forth, 18 seconds. Good, keep moving. You can do this, come on. Perfect, almost there, 10 seconds. Good, we got five seconds and we're going into hurricanes. We're gonna get them right this time. Two, one, up to your feet. Here we go, jumping jacks. Two, three, four, butt kicks. One, two, three, four, jump jacks. One, two, three, four, high knees. One, two, three, four, jump jacks. One, two, three, four, butt kicks. One, two, three, four, jump jacks. One, two, three, four, high knees. One, two, three, four, here we go, one, two, three, four, and relax, 30 seconds, okay, good news is, we've got one more round, bad news is, we've got a whole different circuit coming up, okay, but we're about to wrap up our second circuit, so hang in there with me, we're doing spot on with this one, you're spot on, okay, 11 seconds, going back to our lunges, lunges aren't that bad, so use it to kind of catch your breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two, here we go. So lunge forward, right back up. Lunge forward, right back up, good. That's it, you got this. Come on, we can do it. Try not to stop, just keep working. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Making this new year count, love it. No matter when you're doing this workout, whether it's the new year, or before a wedding, let's make the next 21 days count. You've got goals, let's make them happen. All right, high knees, last set on the high knees. Come on. If you wanna pick your pace up with this one a little bit, that's what I'm gonna do. Feel free to join me. There you go, good. I'm cranking my arms into this one a little bit more. Good, good, good. We can do it, come on. 12 seconds left. From this one, we're dropping it down on the ground, so we got squat thrust, which again, I'm gonna pick the pace up on mine. Five seconds, two, one, drop it down. All right, here we go, feet out, back in, out, back in. I try to keep my feet about shoulder width apart when I do these. You can go wider, you can also go closer if you want, but I find that about the width of the, the yoga mat that I'm using is perfect, which is right at shoulder width. Very good, 10 seconds. Excellent, we got it, five seconds. Three, two, one, hurricane. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. High knees. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Butt kicks. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, here we go, one, two, three, four. All right, we've got one minute. This is our final circuit coming up. Okay, I was listening for a second. 
Make sure I didn't hear my daughter. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be doing. We've got a 180 squat jump, which is where you jump, you rotate in the air, and you land. So you're doing a 180. Now, I like to go from one direction, right back the direction I came from, because I noticed if you spin, you'll get extremely dizzy. Then we're doing mountain climbers, then we're doing sprinter knees, then we're doing a T-stand jump. Now, sprinter knees is the exact same thing as a high knee, but you're going way faster. So it's like you're sprinting. They suck, okay? All right, 12 seconds, 180 squat jumps will be starting out. So I'm gonna stand like this, and I'm gonna try to turn and rotate the full 180. Okay, here we go. All right, and jump. Now, I've done these with tug jumps, they're a lot harder, but the 180 I feel is perfect for this exercise. You don't have to get too crazy on it. Try to get the feet off the air, and then you add that extra ump into it to get the rotation. And again, this takes core work. This takes your abs. A lot of these hit exercises, they're cardio calisthenic exercises, but they take a lot of core strength. So, we're constantly working our abs. Okay, now mountain climbers. Same example here. Every time you extend your leg out, you're working the abs. Every time you pull them in, you're working the abs. Let's keep moving on this one. Good, you got it. Left, right, left, right. We will pick our pace up with each round. The first round is our learning round. Good. Six more seconds. That's it. Almost there. And let's see, sprinter knees. Okay, so this one, you're picking your knees up, you're cranking your arms into it, and you ultimately want to go as fast as you can. We're going to try to get faster with each round. And the T-stand jump is coming up next. I'll show you that one. It's a little bit harder because you're balancing on one leg, but you can do it. All right, five seconds, and all right, T-stand. You're gonna balance like you're in a T position, and then you're gonna jump and land, and dropping it back down into that T position. Very good. Here we go, may not be a big jump. Mine most certainly is not, but it's good for you. Here we go. Almost there, a few more seconds. I'm getting Facebook messages popping up on my timer here. I'm timing with my phone, so. And relax, 30 seconds, okay. That was the first round. You got a pretty good idea of what we're doing. So now round two, let's try to pick our pace up. Definitely sweating. So we got 180 squat jumps. I'm gonna bring that back so I can see a little bit better. Okay, 180 squat jumps with our mountain climbers. Okay, so get ready, five seconds. I think we're gonna make it. Two, one. All right, here we go. So squat, jump, squat, jump. Good. Let's go for a few more reps than last time. Still doesn't have to be anything crazy. Nothing insane. Here we go. Good. Perfect. That's it, that's it, that's it. Very good. Okay, a few seconds left. Excellent. Two seconds. And drop it down, mountain climbers. Okay. Again, I'm gonna pick my pace up a little bit on this one. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Our last round will be our fastest round by far, but still, keep it consistent, keep moving. Even if you have to modify, you may even have to rest a little bit, but try to get back down into your movements as fast as you can. Good, come on, we got sprinter knees next. Three, two, one, all right, high knee that's about double your pace. That's a normal high knee, so crank it out. Come on, you can do it. You definitely gotta crank the arms into it. You gotta keep your head up, you gotta keep your abs tight, chest up. Come on, let's go. That's it, almost there. We got a T-stand jumps next. Almost through it, good, come on. You can do this. Here we go. All right, T-stand, and cross, and jump, cross, and jump. Good. Here we go. 
That's it. So the cool thing about these T-stands, they work the hamstrings quite a bit, which I love. Again, it takes core to balance, but it's great for those hamstrings. You'll always get sore hamstrings the next day from this. Even though it doesn't feel that intense, it pushes you for sure. All right, 30 seconds. We got our last round. This last round, let's just go. Let's give it everything we got and go. Definitely breathing. It's not easy, but we'll be done in like two and a half minutes. Okay. All right, nine seconds till we start. 180 squat jump, as soon as you hear that beep. You ready? Here we go. Jump, turn, jump, turn, jump, turn, jump, turn, jump, turn. Come on. From this, we got mountain climbers. Good. Whoo, feeling it, feeling it. Here we go. Good, come on. You can do it. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Mountain climbers are coming up. Four seconds. And here we go, mountain climbers. Let's rock it. Good. Keep pushing. Left, right, left, right. All the way through. All right, I gotta pick my pace up. Slowing down more than I wanted to. That's it though. Left and right. Keep it moving. Fast movement. 11 seconds. Come on, we got this. Almost there. Almost there. Six more seconds. Three seconds. And sprinter knees. Let's go. Come on, my friends. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's get those abs we want. I know it's painful. I'm feeling it too, believe me. Ooh, I'm hurting. That's okay. We're going to ramp up. We're going to get into this. 21 days, you won't feel this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Almost there. Five more seconds and T-stand hops. Come on. T-stands, let's go. So here, and jump. Get that balance before you jump back. Good. Balance. Keep those abs tight. Come on. Here we go, balance. Keep them tight. Balance. Keep them tight. Almost there. Good. That's it. Let's go. We got it. You're doing good. Three seconds. Whoo. All right, abs shredders. 21 days. Here we come. We got two days down. We got a few more left. I know they're sliding through the tunnel, but we're still not quite there yet. So push hard. Remember, your nutrition is over 60% of the key with this, specifically the meal plan I wrote, okay? So stay on it. It may get tough at times. I know it will, but you can do it, all right? I'm right there with you. I'm following along with it. We're gonna see our abs at the end of this, and we're gonna be more than proud of what we've done. Love you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow.